What's going on guys? Fossil Play 6 here, back to video, and today, oh boy, I got a very spicy album review for you guys. This time I'm going over the latest offering from Enforced War Remains. This is their third studio album that came out today on the 28th of, uh, not October, Jesus, of April 2023, and... This came out in Central Media Records, and this band formed in 2016 in Richmond, Virginia, and, well, they're basically Slayer, but a lot more hardcore. Like, this band is if Slayer went crossover. Like, holy God. Um, this band's kind of been having a little bit of a cult following uh, ever since, uh, especially their uh, latest album that came out in 2021, Kill Grid. And I've been hearing nothing but praise from these guys. And holy God, there's a reason why this band's getting praised. Because this album, I'm going to say it right here, right now. I've seen people say this is the best thrash album of the year. And I'm one of those people. This is the best thrash album I've listened to this year. Because good golly, Miss Molly. From the opening of Aggressive Menace, that is the literal epitome of that song. Because... There's no buildup, there's no dissonance, there's no atmosphere, nothing, just full-blown Slayer riffs right in your face, and it does not release the intensity at all. It's got a really nice groovy midpoint, and that's kind of the theme with this album. You have your thrashers, your straightforward headbangers, but you also have your groovier moments, too. And when I say this album feels like a Slayer album, I, feel, I really mean it feels like a Slayer album. I mean... The song Avarice, it feels like Angel of Death. It's really got Angel of Death like tremolo riffs in some ways. And good lord, the riffs on this album are fucking brutal to say the least. Because holy sheep shite. Godly jeez. Like the riffs on this thing can decapitate cows in a field that's in within a 30 mile radius. Um, Just... It tents throughout this entire album, like the song The Quickening, that is one of the most aggressive tracks I've heard this year, and alongside with that Mercy Killing Fields, it really has a nice unique build up, it's like, okay, you got the riffs going on, and then bam, it goes right into that just blasty breakdown assault, and good lord, that is just intensity at its finest. Uh, you also have some, like, catchier and tastier riffs on this album, too, like Hang By My Hand and Starve. And you also have, again, when I said the hardcore crossover stuff, the song Ultraviolence, that song itself, it's the shortest track on the entire album, only clocking at, at, like, two minutes and some change. And it does not at all stop the intensity at the slightest. Absolutely brutal, brutal track. And this album is a total riff fest. Just look at that title track and you will be decimated at just the riffs on this album. Also, production, beautiful. It's really got that really nasty hardcore crossover thrash like style to the production. This is basically a power trip went full on death metal. Like a power trip have more of a death metal like veneer and have more hardcore bite to it. That's kind of like that. Like, where Power Trip is more straightforward, traditional, crossover in a way, that takes that, but make it a little more extreme and a little more heavier. And like I said earlier with the groovier stuff, there's some groovier moments on this, like like Starve, um, uh, Nation of Fear, that's a hell of a track, and the Collision Track Empire. This album also has some really cool and themic vibes as well, like Aver Avarice and the title track itself. This thing is a full-blown beast from start to finish. I'm saying here, folks, this is an A. This is tied for my favorite album. Maybe, so far, probably my second favorite behind uh, Hell Ripper. But golly... In terms of thrash, this is by far the best album I've heard this year. Like, I thought the new Overkill was pretty damn good. Metallica was solid for what it is. This is brutal. This is brutal thrash at its finest. Absolutely recommended. This gets an A in my book.
So, folks, that is my newest review of the new War, uh, the new Enforced album. I apologize if this album is a little short because, well, to be fair, it's crossover thrash, and there's not a whole lot to talk about when it comes to an album that doesn't even clock in at almost 35 minutes. This thing's like 33 minutes and like 45 seconds. Yeah, it's that's that's kind of like Rain and Blood levels of thrash right there the songs don't overstay their welcome they're very nice and tight and a nice little bow on top of the package so yeah that is my review of war remains hope you guys enjoyed this album review what did you guys think about this album let me know in the comment section below be sure you guys leave a like leave a comment tap that make right subscribe button and tap the bell so when i upload you will be notified thank you guys so much for watching this video most importantly join the herd talk to the next video peace out